Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another COVID-19 vaccine update. I'm Dr. Lewis Cran, and in today's video, we're going to answer one of the common questions that I've been getting asked since more and more individuals have become eligible for the vaccine. That question is, I've had COVID, do I still need the vaccine? Luckily, a recent JAMA article helps us answer this question. Let's check it out. Okay, so unfortunately you've had COVID-19 and you're asking yourself, should I still get the vaccine? That's a great question to ask because we know after we're infected with different viruses, our bodies develop antibodies to help us fight off that virus should we see it again in the future. So I think it's a reasonable question to ask, should I still get the vaccine? I've had COVID. I know that after having COVID, my body has produced an antibody response and I should be able to fight it off in the future. One of the questions that we don't have an exact answer to, simply because we just haven't had enough time, is how long do those antibodies actually last? And are they still gonna fight off some of the new variants that are starting to populate around the world? Luckily, a recent JAMA article starts to address the answer to this question. In the study, scientists used four different variants of the COVID-19 virus, including a couple of the variants that have been around since the beginning, as well as some of the new variants that are starting to become more popular around the world. And they tested neutralizing antibody response in three different groups of individuals. The first group was individuals who were still acutely sick, somewhere in that five to 19 day mark. The second group were people who had recovered from COVID-19, but were still within 30 to 90 days of having that recent infection. And then the third group was individuals who were considered to be fully vaccinated, which is defined as two weeks after your last dose of the vaccine. In this case, they used individuals who had gotten the Moderna vaccine. And the results help us answer this question of, I've had COVID, should I still get the vaccine? If we look at the data, individuals who had the vaccine had a much higher response of neutralizing antibodies than either of the other two groups. Now, I think this makes it much more likely that you're going to be able to fight off not only the existing variants, but some of those new variants in the future. The other takeaway that we can glean from this study is that those individuals who have higher antibody levels, i.e. the people who are vaccinated, will have longer lasting immunity than those individuals who had the natural infection. So, to answer our original question, I've had COVID, should I get the COVID-19 vaccine? The answer is absolutely yes. We know that the COVID-19 vaccines not only protect us against the variants that are out there right now, but are also showing positive results in protecting us from some of the newer variants that are starting to become more popular, such as the variant that originated in the United Kingdom, as well as some of the variants that have originated here in the United States, but share a lot of the same mutations as some of those other more well-known variants. So I hope this video helps to clear up that question and helps to reassure you that even if you've had COVID-19, you should still get the vaccine to protect you and to protect those around you. Now, one of the caveats that I will mention, if you've had COVID-19 and you get the vaccine, you may have heard that individuals after their second dose tend to have a more significant response, some of which have some not so great side effects. If you check out my video that I posted after I got my second dose, you'll see just what I'm talking about. However, since you've already had COVID, your response after the first dose may be very similar to the experience that some of those who've had the second dose because you've already had COVID. So your first dose is acting like those of us that didn't have COVID, the experience we had after our second dose. So if you're kind of cautious in getting the vaccine or need to plan some time off of work just in case you have some um, more significant side effects such as fever, chills, sweats, 
aches, headaches, etc., you might want to consider planning that after your first dose versus perhaps what have you heard from individuals who have had to do the same thing with their second dose. Again, difference is your first dose is acting like a second dose because you've had COVID versus individuals who have not had COVID. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you don't mind, please like this video. It helps other people see it. Be sure and leave me some comments down below and let me know what your experience has been either with COVID or with the vaccine. And as always, stay safe out there.